you guys i'm back again with another video i know it's been a little minute but i'm back um it's just been summertime i've been working i've just been tired i've just been not here but i'm here um this video is gonna be really fast it's just gonna be like a hissy part two video for those of you who haven't watched my hissy part one video um if you're going to take the hissy i do advise that you go watch that video because i have a lot of people tell me it helped them pass um so go ahead check that out um Secondly, just a quick update. I kind of left you guys hanging from the last video about my semester. I will say I did pass semester one um, and I am going on to semester two next month in August. Um, my program has five semesters, so I'm kind of done, but kind of not done. Like I still have till 2019. But okay, so yeah. Um, oh, one more thing. I was um, I was elected vice president of my class, so that's, that's good. I am the vice president of my uh, graduating nursing class. So that was a big accomplishment when I passed the semester. I found that out. I was like, yay. Turn out. Okay, but anyways, so we're just gonna jump straight into the video. I kinda need to move my camera over a little bit. But we're just gonna jump straight into the video. And like I said, this is kind of a part two. I've already made a part one, but this part is specifically for anatomy. Um, if you guys want me to go in depth for the other sections, I don't mind. It's just that I sold my study materials, so I don't have nothing to look at but if there's anything specific that you want me to break down for you I do not mind doing that but okay so um, just jumping straight into it I will say I'm just gonna kind of skim through my list here um, I will try to put the list up in the video as well just in case you don't catch it um, and maybe that can help you out a little bit more so my first thing is let me say this before I jump into it um, for everything I tell you guys I remember some of these questions some of these questions were definitely on my test um, but it is important for you guys to know, don't go so, like, and I think I said this in the first video, my first HESI video, don't go so far in depth when studying because I'm telling you, like, the test is not that in depth. It's honestly the basics. Like, if you go review all the body systems and you review the basics, like the functions and what's in each system, what each, each system is involved in, like, you'll be fine because it's the basics. But, okay, so the first thing I remember is ossification occurs when so just look up what's ossification um the hypothalamus does what um does meiosis meiosis however you say it um does meiosis end and does it end i cannot get this one out does meiosis end maybe it's because of meiosis does meiosis end in 42 or 20? I hope that didn't mess my video. Okay, so does meiosis end in um, 42 or 23? Um, this question, this next question I want to say, it tricked a lot of people up, so make sure you look at this one. Does the woman's cycle, her cycle, does it end in 28 or 38? 28 or 38. Whoa. Does a woman's cycle end, um, is the, like the period in between, is it 28 or 30 days? Um, what part of the ear is responsible for hearing? I remember there were a few questions on the test that had to do with the ear. So definitely look into the basics of the ear, the function of the ear, the parts of the ear, inner and outer structures. Um, what is the cochlea? Which organ is the most hollow? That definitely tripped up um, a few people. So definitely look. And I think the options were stomach, liver, and gallbladder. So look that up. Um, no, I know I'm going to say this wrong. Please don't. Ridic ridicule? Ridicule? Don't talk about me. <laughs> um, her, her, I'm going to put it up, um, like I said in the notes. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, refer to the notes. The Habersian, Habersian, or like what do they do? Um, muscle contractions, what causes muscle contractions? Um, what is important for bones? And I think the options are like uh, calcium, potassium, phosphorus. Um, Definitely, definitely this one. I remember this question. What causes you to shiver when you're cold? I literally have to guess because I didn't know. Um, so definitely look that up. And then just look up the basics on skeletal muscle. And honestly, the basics on smooth muscle. Like all those muscle types, definitely look into that because those are on the test. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of, that is all I have. Again, I know this is a really short, quick video. Um, if you need me to break anything down to help you understand a little bit more, I am going to put the this little note thing I have here. I'm going to put it in the video at the end. Um, and honestly, I know a lot of people are freaked. Like, I know a lot of people freak out about the A&P section. Don't let it freak you out. Like, you have to go in there. I said this in the first video. You have to go in there with a positive, confident mindset. Like, you got this. It's just a test. Um, 
just like any other test you've taken before it's just you need to pass this one to get into nursing school don't let it scare you like just you know it and my thing is like when I took the anatomy section I didn't sit there on a question for five minutes one you don't have the time two that's more opportunity for you to sit there and second guess yourself so look at the question read it read it all your answer choices read it again twice if you have to but do not sit there and stare at the question either you know it or you don't you click it and remember you can't go back so make sure you click what you think is the answer or you know you just take a very well educated guess and you move on don't sit there and don't contemplate if you pick something go with it don't change don't don't second guess yourself but guys I think that's it for now um, I'm going to try to do some more videos um, within the next span a couple of days uh, so yeah don't forget to subscribe share um, and make comments if you have any comments for me thanks